What's up with your grade? Danny George. I'm uh, here with my wife, Mary Johnson George. She is uh, one third of the trio. That's WB. We're here to support. She's her reality show. And this little set tonight I thought was really well. And uh, that's it. What's new with you? What's been going on lately? God. Oh, man. A lot. A lot of working in the uh, entertainment education space. Work as an assistant vice president for my university. Uh, just advancement at the Ohio State University. As well as uh, working on Fox, commentating college football. And a father and a husband. And a son. And all these roles I'm playing. So it just doesn't miss. <laughs> been busy. I've been coming up with the draft at all this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Been coming up with the draft a couple days ago. Very uneventful. Not a lot of. Uh, High profile guys, but you know, with a good draft, Atlanta was over with the wrong one. Any surprise uh, draft picks? Shockers? Really no major surprises. I think it's more uh, more surprising that it wasn't a lot of skilled players that went in the first round. A lot of offensive and defensive linemen. Uh, I think Tavon Austin is going to be a piece. I think Geno Smith here in New York was going to be a great, great acquisition. Uh, the Bills, they won um, on, the, on the draft. Took the BJ Manuel, a couple of firepower weapons on the outside. I like what they've done up there. So overall, I thought it was pretty good. The Honey Badger, what's your take on him and his position? You know what? It's not about his position. It's about the company that he keeps in Arizona. He keeps his head clear and gets rid of the guys that he grew up around that got him into the, the trouble and supports those type of things. Um, if you can do that and get around Patrick Peterson, who played with the LSU uh, for two years, I think he'll be just fine. Uh, but the kid is clearly talented. He has all pro potential if he taps into it. All right, thank you, Eddie. No problem, man. Thank you.